It's not designed for the, for the kids so much. This is a little, yeah. skew's a little older. It's just playing a character. Taking the character that I grew up with and I know a lot of people hold reverent and trying to put my own spin on it, trying to put my own voice on it. We are the video engineers. Our goal with this release is to try and get it to look as much like the original film print as possible. Uh, we do that by using various uh, processes and filters. Hi, my name is Steve Franco. I'm senior colorist here at Ant Transfer. Been doing this about probably 30 years. I was asked uh, this past year to re-color correct and re-scan. Uh, but in order to make that work, you have to obviously find a starting point and try to match the colors of the film as the uh, creative guys intended it to be. So what we did is I got a hold of uh, our telecine analysis film, it's called TAF, and what we do is we align the telecine to match the color information the grayscale, and the detail of that film. That's probably one of the most important things about this project is trying to be as true and honest and do the proper reproduction, if you will, of this film. I feel that we've accomplished making it look as true as it could possibly look. And when you look at this, um, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with this version. The first filter we use is the dust filter. Because we're working with animated material, the filter's kind of prone to removing stars from the sky or people's pupils. So we have to remove it from specific parts of specific scenes before we send it on to the fix pass. So after the dust pass, we move on to doing the fix pass, painting out any blemishes, abnormalities, even hairs, blemishes, or bodily fluids. Frame by frame, frame by frame, frame by front and frame. Just basically anything that is abnormal. Tape marks, tape marks, also tape marks between the scenes. And it is the most uh, time consuming of all the processes. <laughs> After the fix pass, we run the steady filter, which gets rid of the unsteadiness in the footage due to the film weave. The filter analyzes the footage and makes tracking data, and then adjusts each frame according to our parameters. After the steady pass, the last couple of uh, filters that we apply, the first of which uh, helps reduce the, the flicker that's evident in our print, and the second uh, processes the grain and noise in order to make this the truest representation possible of the original master. Once that's done, we send it through a couple of uh, passes of quality control and send it on to our editors. And that's pretty much it. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs>